said that he's an on time. Yes, he is. Amen. We honor the Lord. We thank God for Jesus and his shed blood for the cross. His blood that washes and cleanses us from all our sins. We are so glad that Jesus went to an unworthy cross. He humbly and died. That we might have the right to the tree of life. He didn't have to do it, but he did. Died. The Bible says they put him in a borrowed tomb. But early Sunday morning, he got up with all power in his hands. And because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, our fear is gone. Because I know who holds my future. Life is worth the living just because he lives. Got it from the ring back to his father. One day he's coming back for a church without spot or ring or limb or call to meet him in the end. So shall we forever be with the Lord. This is that good news. We thank God for all these preachers who are assembled and their spouses uh, to the presiding elder Lord, to Sister Lord. I bless you today. Uh, to Mother Bird in her absence. And we uh, thank God for the First Lady of Great Bethlehem. Yeah. 
extend mercy. It shouldn't be that the church of Jesus Christ is unkind, that we are unkind to each other or unfriendly to each other. It, it, it shouldn't be that we should be comfortable with being negative. And that we are just negative, looking to stir up trouble. It should never be that way in the church of Jesus Christ. Uh, but should it be that those of us who are saved and sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost, should it be that we are just nice folk? We should be killing each other with niceness. Uh, we should say nice things and we should do nice things for each other. Uh, we should be nice because it's just nice to be nice. And I've got news for it. The Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, the Spirit who lives on the inside of each one of us helps us to be nice. Some of y'all know that there are times when you don't want to be nice. And that you want tit for tat. I tit you, you're going to tat this back. You know I'm saying tit for tat, brother for fat. You kill my dog, I'm going to get your cat. And you know for some of us who are good at that, if you get us, we're going to get you back. It may not be today, words, I'm going to get you back. Somebody else. How many know it's the Spirit of God that does not let you do to others what even they might do to you? Uh, it takes the Holy Ghost. How many know it takes the Holy Ghost uh, to change who you are? And, and some of us can thank God that, uh, that we may not be what we want to be, but we're glad that we're not what we used to be. <laughs> Change. Yeah. Come on, come on, shake your neighbor's hand and say, neighbor, I know I've been changed. And the angels in heaven done changed my name. I, I know I'm not the same as what lesson this morning. You, you really did. Your pastor taught a real nice lesson this morning. And we talked about telling each other that you love each other because of the truth of the matter is that tomorrow is not promised to us. And we ought to give people their flowers while they are yet alive. If they can't hear you say nothing about I love you, and when we die, we can't smell no flowers. So while I'm yet alive, you ought to tell me, you ought to tell each other that I just love you. And I know that the God inside of you will make you love people, will make you love people even who are unlovable. He'll let you love folk that are hard to love. And every now and then you have to tell your neighbor, I love you and you can't do a thing about it. Oh, come on, tell him right now. Come on, tell him right now. Look at him. I love you and you can't do a thing about it. Oh, Lord, thank you today. Oh, come on, tell that other neighbor. Come on, tell that other neighbor. I love you. And you can't do a thing about it. I've got to love you. I've got to treat you nice. Because God's been too good to me. The Holy 
He giveth power to the faith. And to them that have no might, He increases strength. You must be tough. You must be tough. Because any weaker person wouldn't have made it this far. Sorry. 